I want to get into, we were kind of talking about like relationships and stuff mm -hmm. earlier. So I want to talk about, because we've talked about it a lot, mm -hmm. twin flames, soul family, mm -hmm. soulmates, karmic relationships, everything yeah. like that. Because that's really like the conversation that started our like, spiritual friendship probably because yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what i was going through that day like where i kind of like split with my what i pers what i really strongly felt was my twin flame mm -hmm. um but i wasn't sure and then you did the muscle test on me and you were like yep yep i was getting that he was i like i said i'm not 100 percent perfect at everything but I I was getting that he was. Yeah. So. And it's just yeah. so interesting, like how many different types of like relationships are there. I also find that, you know, as humans, we obviously try to like label and classify everything. Mm -hmm. Like that's just like what we do. Compartmentalize. Yeah, which isn't better. always like necessary, but it's how we like organize and move through life. I don't know where we were. I think you were. You said what started our spiritual journey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're talking about like twin flames, soulmates, mm, mm. all that kind of stuff. I haven't really talked too much about that on my channel. Okay. Um, so maybe the best place to start there is, yeah, like that question. Um, do you think, do you believe that we choose our realities before we're born? That's something I, that's you know, funny, that's something I haven't looked into. Mm. Um, I've heard that, uh, you know, I've read that our souls choose the person that they want to be with. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's almost like you know, the soul chooses the, um, the battle that they want for their next life. Right, the, right. The journey. I, I don't know. I, I, so I'm like convicted. I say it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> I am convicted that that is what happens. Yeah. Like okay. I am convicted that that's the truth. <laughs> but like I said, like I do a lot of research on like near death experiences. Okay. Um, people in hypnotic like states that are like in the afterlife or crossing over the afterlife or mm. going into past lives. Okay. Um, like I know you and I have both did a reading like that before um but basically like that's where your soul family like come from so essentially mm -hmm. like we've established we're soul family mm -hmm. but like in another you know lifetime we could have been son and daughter or, right. or daughter and dad yeah. <laughs> or we could have been like best friends or whatever yeah. and basically let like our souls like figure out which lessons we want to learn in our next lifetime and so the people in your soul family essentially are like, okay, well, I'll play this part, I'll play that part, and that way we can all get to the different. Maybe, you know, I mean, hey, I mean, you're making sense. I mean, it's plausible, <laughs> especially with all the stuff you know we've learned and you know gone through in our lives so far. So yeah, I don't know, but it's interesting. Yeah. Well, when we were talking earlier before we started filming about you know reincarnation mm -hmm. um you know i was always brought up catholic and i never even thought that was like a thing yeah um left the catholic church i've told the story many times on my channel came back as like a i call myself a recovering catholic okay. like, <laughs> <laughs> like i'm a christian a non-denominational christian uh, like i kind of like a spiritual christian if you will gotcha <laughs> well, yeah um blend. yeah but as i've done all this research i'm like i definitely like I 110% believe in reincarnation. Okay. Um, which like, you know, Christian Yeah, I definitely think it's, shit, yeah, yeah, you know. they'll tell you it's demonic or yeah. it's of uh, the devil. But you know what's kind of interesting, and just going off for a second, even when you think about the Bible and stuff you'll hear that they did, um, which is, is surely controversial, some of this, just some of the sacrifices, and mm -hmm. the, 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 the uh, rituals that they've yeah. done, it's like, wait a minute, you sprinkled an altar with lamb's blood if we did that yeah. today you'd call us some type of sickness or yeah, yeah. Or a witch or something you know, so that's what i'm saying like you know what's really mm -hmm. what you and know? again yeah. i think it's i think it comes back to control and manipulation because here's the other thing too there was tons of slavery in okay. the bible yeah. so yeah. like there there is a lot of stuff in there where i think the issue is, is people fail to use their critical thinking skills. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. And I think we're, it's funny because I think in schools, like they tell us we are critical thinking, but it's actually the opposite of that. They're having you memorize things and learning things for tests, papers, whatever. Yeah. But they're not actually encouraging you to think outside the box. So when people mm -hmm. like us are having conversations like this, mm -hmm. we're gonna get called crazy, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. 
I've always thought differently, but you know, let me tell you something. Um, not bragging, but I'm doing better than most of the people I know. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and it's crazy. Just... You start to meet people that are doing as well as you, and it's like, ah, uh, you think differently too. It's that, yeah. You know? So. Yeah, and I don't know about you, but like for me, there's very few people in my life that think this way. Mm -hmm. Um. And so it can be a little frustrating. Like it can be very like um, like isolating. Yeah. I feel like. You feel um, alone. Yeah, like very You're alone sometimes. Like yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, with the whole like reincarnation thing, like what I've researched and read is that like Earth is a type of school. So there's different like oh, nuggets. Levels. levels to existence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and every time she drinks water. So one time I was like, it was so frustrating and she's drinking water. Like she's crazy with it, right? So I went up to her while she was drinking with my water bottle and I started doing it too. Oh, and I was like, she watched oh, you. She backed up. What are you doing? I'm like, yeah, this is what you sound like every freaking time you drink water. You crazy girl. Are you a fan of the Marvel movies? Are you don't watch them? I didn't think you did. Uh, yeah. Is that Batman? No. <laughs> I'll try to help bring her into the fold. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's DC. Oh, okay. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, it's all DC. Uh, Marvel is the Flash. You've heard of Thanos? Phantos? Thanos. No. <laughs> He's the big purple muscly guy that was probably in some previous like episodes. So. He's the one that wears the, the golden. Yeah, like Wario, but like a person. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Not Wario, though. No. But there's a scene where he's talking to Iron Man. I know that. And he says, Stark. He's like, you know me? He was like, yeah, you're not the only one cursed with knowledge. Oh. And that's how it can feel. It can feel kind of isolated. Mm -hmm. Like you know something doesn't that everyone else doesn't know. And you want to talk to him about it, but you don't know anyone else. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah and know, it's kind it's, of like, damn, like I almost wish I wasn't yeah. like going through this. Yeah. Like I wish I could be back asleep. Yeah. But then it's, it's like, not like I think I'm a genius and I know everything, no, but it's like, no. wow, I know this aspect of life it, it's that's kind of different like, now. It's like and, why, when I first started going my, through my awakening, I was like, why isn't everyone talking about this all the time? <laughs> like, this why? This is so empowering, why? Like, why? Is this not talked about? Like I was like, I don't, I don't, I do not understand. Although I will say, I think that like as the generations are getting younger, mm -hmm. like it's becoming more widespread now, and I think like yeah, eventually, more are on it. yeah, yeah. Um, in the uh, CD set I'm gonna give her, they uh, he talked about how uh, Think and Grow Rich mm -hmm. talked about that basically. It's he says it's not work hard and grow rich. It's called think. And grow rich. It's oh, about your thoughts. That's so true. I never thought right? about never that. Never thought about that, right? Never. And that's a freaking title. <laughs> exactly. And he said that when Napoleon Hill wanted to write that, because Andrew Carnegie commissioned him to, mm -hmm. he said that Henry Ford went nuts. He did not want that info out. Really? So the whole thing goes that. Like a lot of the rich and powerful, they know how to manifest. That's why they've been mm -hmm. in power for so long. Mm -hmm. However, you can too. But if they keep the knowledge from you, you're just kind of like, oh, woe is me. I'll just work my nine to five right. in a factory for 80 years and I'll die. And then that's yeah. it. But if you know that you can change your vibration, mm -hmm. your frequency, they don't want you, to know that. you can start to bring in the things that they have. Yeah. Keep it in the family. That's why they married each other so much. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Well, and then you think about, like, I guess it kind of slides right into recent events in the media. You want to talk about that a little bit? You feel like no, we can. No, we can. You know, it depends on what it is. Some things I know about, some things, you know, I don't. I don't, uh, I'm not like a big news person anymore. Um, actually, it's funny because, like, when I first started going through my awakening, that was the first thing I cut out. Mm -hmm. um, which is funny because I have a journalism degree. So right, like that was right, something that I was always that, yeah. very attached to was, you know, knowing the news and well, knowing what they're feeding you. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think it comes back to a lot of like, um, the elite in power and not being told the whole truth to keep us down, mm -hmm. um, to keep us kind of stupid. Yeah. A lot, um, I mean, look, I, a lot of, I think there's some good elite and it's funny. He talks about that. And he said that there's the parasitical elite. 
which leech off of us. Mm -hmm. And then there's, uh, I forgot what he called the other ones, but they're the ones that want to help people. They want everyone to understand how powerful they mm -hmm. are. You know, they want kind of like a utopia where everyone can live happily. Because there is an gifts. abundance and there yes. is enough for everyone. Yeah, so, yeah, like, you know, I watched a few different news shows and it's like, you know, yeah, you know, there's a lot of dirty stuff going on. Yeah. And you have to watch even what you say because certain powerful ones will snatch it right out from mm -hmm. underneath, you know? Yeah, it, that's, well, and that's even the scarier part is you have to be careful about what you say. Like... I thought we had freedom of speech, but... Yeah, you know, yeah. Don't really... Well, then, like... I don't know if I can talk about this. Well, we can always edit it out. Yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. So. The whole thing with YouTube. Did you hear about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I usually stay away from that because, yeah. you know, it's just... I'm like, well, you, you know, know what it was? So, I, I read it. Um, I'll post the link in the below. I don't want to get into it. Um, I read it and immediately I had that like panic, right? And then I stopped myself. This is part of like the knowing and you mean the about manifesting. The new leader? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, I read yeah. about all of that and then why, you know, the CEO stepped down, all that. Mm -hmm. And then like I started getting freaked out and then immediately you, you gotta catch yourself in the moment mm -hmm. when you're going down this like negative rabbit hole, right? Yeah. And, and, and you get better with it, you know? Like mm -hmm. before I would have probably let myself spiral for an hour. Um, I caught myself in like 30 seconds and I was like, yeah. no, you know what? This isn't going to affect me. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, one thing he talks about, he says, you know, Hey, you have your own mantra or something. You might say, Hey, everything always works out for me. Mm -hmm. So whatever happens, Hey, my some bad things might come in, but things will eventually work out for me and I'm going to be fine. Yeah. So, yeah. However exactly. However you need it to work for you. But it's just uh, it's tough to discern like what's true and what's not and at the end of the day honestly like the way I see it with like the news and stuff it's like are we ever gonna actually know you know what I mean oh yeah like and then and then there comes in like everything with like you know conspiracy theorists mm -hmm. um, which some people classify me as one some people don't um, I think there's a lot of like truth in a lot of them <laughs> I think there's a lot of truth in a lot of them. I think some of them are really blown out of proportion. Mm -hmm. Some are a little far-fetched. Yeah. And some I'm like, I, I connect those dots. I see exactly mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Yeah. I was big. And, and it's funny, it all happened around the same time. Mm. The awakening, my awakening and everything. And I started getting to conspiracy theories. And some stuff I've seen come true. Mm -hmm. Some stuff... I haven't seen them come true yeah. from all these conspiracy theory videos and articles I used to read and watch. So, you know, um, there were people that were being banned and had their channels take away from them for saying certain things mm -hmm. on YouTube that are now being shown to be true. Yeah. So there's certain yeah. like YouTubers out there that I follow. Um, I don't know if you know who Ralph Smart is. Ralph um, Smart. No. And I am like always surprised that he's still on here <laughs> yeah you have to phrase things a certain way yeah and you know what's interesting too Ralph smart about the the term conspiracy theorist and where it came from ah yeah like yeah, yeah 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 i had the you know what's funny um i had my phase with him mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my phase with, i'm like what is he doing <laughs> But yes, he uh, yes he, he definitely has good energy. He knows what he's talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yes. Um, but then, but well, actually, I had to stop watching his videos for a long time, and uh, even like sometimes I don't know if you have TikTok or not, but like scrolling mm -hmm. through TikTok, not even um, they banned me. I find mm -hmm. what they banned me for they did? putting up a video where I had to cross eyes using the cross eyes filter, and I was like, ladies, uh, the the I'm gonna have an OnlyFans starting January first. Yes, so I'm like pretending to be a sexy guy, but yeah. my eyes are crossed. Yeah. I'm announcing that I'm going to have OnlyFans. And they fans, banned you? And they banned me for that. But, you know what? I'm going to ban him anyway. Oh, it's, it's from China. Die. It's from China. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to ban it anyway. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, if they, if, I've heard that TikTok, I mean, it. It could go. It, it searches too much of your information. Interesting. It, it asks for access to all your computers that you oh, have. Oh, I didn't even know that. And your uh, what you copy and paste. So all your clipboard it wants to know everything Shut you've clipboard. Up. Yeah. So I'm like, good. I'm glad you made yeah. it. Yeah. To hell with you. I don't 
post on it too to. often, but I scroll on it and I find that like when I'm down the conspiracy like rabbit hole, my actually life feels more negative. It's actually kind of like watching the news, <laughs> you know? Like sometimes like I get in these little phases and I, it'll only last for a few days for me because I will feel it in like my yeah, energy. And I'm like, you know what? I've had enough. And that's what happened with his videos for a while. I was down oh. that rabbit hole for a while. And, uh, and then I did talk about a lot of the bad things that were going to yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. Which is, I, I think it's important mm -hmm. to put that information out there. But also like if you get too wrapped up in that stuff, like it's also, it's like overindulging. And it can be just as negative as watching like the news. Yeah. Yeah, I, man, listen, I, I was down that rabbit hole, especially like, I remember there was a whole thing where, like, you don't have a plug for it. <laughs> I have to take the whole battery out. Oh, uh, it doesn't come with a plug, like, a, no. Oh, that sucks. Because <laughs> <laughs> my, like, you like, the one, if you see my channel, the one I always record on is always plugged in. It has a battery, but. It's always plugged in. I don't know if this one can. like has that. I also don't yeah. usually ever film for this long, but okay. if this well, shuts sense. down, we're just gonna transfer it over here and you're gonna okay. send it to me. <laughs> okay. So Tyrone came prepared. <laughs> like I um there was something oh where they were saying that the elite were trying to make another star. They're trying to make a, another sun out of Jupiter. Okay. Right? Okay. There was a movie. I, th I can't. Uh, was it? Is, is it 2001: Space Odyssey? One of them. Where these there's this obelisk or whatever in the beginning of the movie that's just this black black rectangle, and it, it's on Earth when humans were apparently apes. Okay. But it somehow influenced us to evolve into a higher being. Okay. At the end of the movie, it's a confusing movie in certain aspects, but at the end of the movie, there is a whole, uh, it's a ton of them, <laughs> all circling on Jupiter. And they ignite Jupiter, because you know it's a gas giant. Yeah. And it turns it into another star, and then we have two suns in the sky. Uh-huh. And at the time, the guy was explaining all this stuff and how it connected. And if you look at MasterCard, it's actually two suns. Oh yeah, the red and the yellow. And on the news years ago, when I was younger, yeah. there was a black dot that appeared on Jupiter. And in the movie, the movie came before the news event in real life. Mm, there was a black like dot. Simpsons. People could see the black <laughs> dot on Jupiter before it ignited into a star. Look, what good. do you think about... Um, all of these performances, the Grammy performance. I'm not into that You're stuff. Into I don't it? know what they're doing. <laughs> and yeah, ever since I got into conspiracy theories years ago, they're always saying there's some type of Illuminati ritual, some yeah. type of satanic ritual. I don't know what they're doing, but it's something. Yeah. I, you know, I'm like, there's mm -hmm. something going on there. It's not quite mm -hmm. right. But I think it goes to show, like, with what you were just saying about, you know, them putting it ahead of big events happening and something and i think that's why people are freaking out because it's like well if that's the case look at the simpsons yeah the simpsons stuff is a few nuts things. yeah <laughs> like that that yeah. is crazy I'm worried about donald trump because in there he's dead as president who's that oh yeah, yeah the episode where he's dead oh well, he's president though eh? so uh, that it was maybe... way before he ever ran <laughs> So it was like, so President we'll Trump is dead. Like, what? Yeah. Jackson! So, so it like concerns me. I'm like, damn, like, if the Simpsons have been right about a bunch of stuff, right. it means that someone's going to try to take him out. If he, yeah, that would mean that he might become president. Right, 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 then, right. You know, We'll refer back to this video if that happens. <laughs> the security's great. They're the best in the world. <laughs> You're going to do that. Oh, before we wrap up, I wanted to show you this. Okay. I've never brought this on my channel before either. Uh -oh. This is my pendulum. <laughs> I got to see this. All right. So we were talking about the muscle testing earlier mm -hmm. in another video. I don't know how I'm going to split this up. And this is kind of a similar thing. Um... It's the same thing where you have to test your yes and your no answer. You have to connect with the, the crystal 
Um, now, this is one of those things, again, like, can this be seen as witchcraft? I'm not sure. Um, oh, I'm sure it was plenty of people yeah. that say that. I don't really use my pendulum, but I used to, so don't come for me. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's the internet. You can come for me if you want. Mm -hmm. but, um, but it's just a, kind of like a fun little thing, so if you want to get upset, fine. So basically, like, you'll see. So this is how you hold it. Oh, shit. Oh! oh. <laughs> you know what's funny? I forgot. I have one. You do? Yeah, but I never ask the questions. She oh. said she asked the questions. Oh my god, I asked the questions. Yeah, you can put it over your chakras, and if it spins properly, you know that your chakras are clear no or whatever. No way. Yeah, so you have to use it yeah. like that. Okay. You put it over your heart. It'll do you connect spin. with it first? No. All right, no. so you want to connect with it first. So, okay. okay. Pendulum, are we connected? Uh, so that is, is that a yes? So that's my yes. Thank you, Pendulum. Can you give me a no answer, please? Okay, so for me, like, yes would be right circles and no would be left. Oh, I see. So c c clockwise and counterclockwise. Yeah, okay. and so, okay. like, for an example, like, uh, Pendulum, I am sitting next to Tyrone. Is that a no? That's a yes. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a yes, okay. Pendulum. I am sitting next to President Trump. He could be. <laughs> oh, I get that. That's crazy. Isn't that wild? <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be people, plenty of people saying, you're made to do that. Yeah, so, right. Oh, yeah. Like, so, but, dude, like, yeah. sometimes this thing will go, like, nuts. Like, really? sometimes it'll get, like, not that big, but mm -hmm. it'll, it'll like, go, like, this big around. Wow. But it's funny, though, because, um, so, like, they all know, like, my roommates think I'm crazy. Um, <laughs> and so when I first brought this out, like, I don't know, this is when I first started going through my awakening when I was kind of experimenting with everything. Um, and I brought this and I was telling them all about it and the, and two of them were with me. One of them's like, this is stupid. That doesn't work. You're making it up a lot. The other one's super like cautiously open, okay. right? It wouldn't move or work at all with the person that was like, this is bullshit. But with the person that was like open to it, it was. So, so you like, connect till you didn't come yeah, to connect, mm -mm. so it doesn't work. No. Right. Interesting. Yeah, you should have seen it when I tried to show my parents. <laughs> oh, man. My mom passed away in 2005, but trust me, if she knew now, like, she'd probably be, what are you getting into? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she'd be all over it. She was deeply religious. She'd oh, be all yeah. over me. So. Yeah, it's, it's definitely an interesting. I mean, sometimes, like, my brother and I will coop up, like, when I go home and visit them, and, like, we'll just... My mom would be like, what are you guys talking about? Yeah, yeah, team up on the rest of the family. Astral projection. <laughs> She's like, what the hell is that? And like, it's going to take us too long to explain it, Mom. Energy balls. <laughs> <laughs> you know about it, Mom. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you wanted to chat about spiritually? Mm. Hope you guys enjoyed these. Yeah, talks to Tyrone, good. a new it's side it's of him. Yes, you know. <laughs> like, like we, you know. I talk to the line. point where I'm actually a little tired. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we've exhausted ourselves talking about this. I know, this. we didn't yeah, even get too yeah. far into like the whole soul family thing, but like, I'm just like, I'm kind of done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, there's always another time. Yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll try and, you know, to wait another yeah. six years. <laughs> and you know, we could always like, you know, maybe even to like live stream. Yeah, yeah. Like, I just yeah, did my yeah, first yeah. live where I brought someone else on. Um, I saw some a of week it. ago. Yeah. yeah. So it definitely works, and we could we can certainly do that. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can make it like a monthly or bi-monthly thing. Cool. That'd be fun. We can talk about weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> Get you all involved. In yeah, show. yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming on and Thank driving out to my me. home. No problem, no problem. <laughs> and I'll put um, all of Tyrone's uh, links in the description below. Is there anywhere else that you want them to check you out? Uh, YouTube? You, you can find me on Twitter at the Tyrone Magnus, uh, Instagram Tyrone Magnus. <laughs> yeah, Facebook title. Yeah, sometimes yeah. I like try to yeah. keep it all the same. I'm usually easy you to can. find. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> find. So, yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, different version of doing things, and I love you so much. See you next week, and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself. <laughs> <laughs>